Okay guys, welcome back to the Daily Drift. Today, I'm gonna be installing some wheel studs. We know we're shit. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Daily Drift. So if you guys remember the other day, we went and we tried to get tires for the BMW and it just was not working. Uh, and we ended up just lifting the car up and when we lifted it up, I mean, it, it's riding at monster truck height and it's still kind of rubbing. Uh, but I managed to get these puppies, Amazon Prime, thank you very much, because you all came in clutch, and we got some good deals on these tires. I want to say I paid $60 a pop. Supposedly these things are okay. I don't know if they're going to last, but uh, for $60, you can't really complain. But I don't have a tire changer, and I need to get these things on the car. So first things first, before we get started with any of the stud conversions or anything like that, I need to get these suckers on the tires and the wheels. So we're going to go get the BMW get all the wheels and tires off, and then uh, move on to go getting these mounted on the new wheels, slash tires, slash whatever. So yeah. Here you go, here's the spare. Hey, thanks, I appreciate it. Here you go, bud. Ah, it's so nice to have a twin. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Yeah, Austin doesn't know what he's missing out on. Last one. Ah, thank God. Ah, it's about damn time. I'm ready to go to Alfonso's. Alright guys, we're on our way to Alfonso's. It's not too far from here. We're gonna go get these tires swapped out real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Then we'll get back and get these things mounted. Here we are. Guys, Alfonso's is the shit. These guys hooked me up. I'm talking, I got all the tires swapped around. Like they mounted all my tires for $10 a pop. 40 bucks. So that means all in all, I got my tires for $280, all four, mounted. That's way better than any of the big names would have been able to do. So I'm going to go home and get these things put on. And that was such a good deal and so fast. Like these guys move quick. It was so fast that I only had like five minutes and I was done. So guys, what we have here, we have some nice wheel lugs that we got. These suckers right here are beautiful. Beautiful. So they're the Mishimoto, which I know they're kind of expensive, but... My thing is, I learned my lesson from buying cheap lugs, and the last set of lugs that I bought were the dirty cheap ones. And they're already splitting, the threads are pulling out, like, they're probably not even safe to be running on the car, but we're still running them. So I decided to upgrade to some actual name brand ones that we think will last. So we're going to use those when we do the conversion. The other thing that we did is, we got some studs, these are some high quality studs. I mean, that's basically what they are, right? So. We're gonna take these studs here, nothing too fancy about them. This end is gonna go into where the uh, bolts are on the hubs, and we're gonna use some Loctite. We're using the blue, so we're just gonna use that on the end going into the hub, just to kinda keep this in place, but when you tighten this on there and you torque it on, it's gonna tighten itself onto the hub anyway, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. It's more for when we take these off. And I mean, the whole reason that we're doing this anyway is because we swap tires like crazy. I mean, it's a drift car, so anytime we burn through tires, we gotta swap them, and it's just, those bolts get to be a pain, especially because we're running spacers up front. It's not fun. So we're gonna do this conversion. So now we're gonna go and take our studs and put these suckers in the wheels. 
So guys, here's the tools you're gonna need. So obviously you're gonna need your studs. You're gonna need some Loctite, which is very important. You're gonna need a socket wrench, which is also important. An Allen key, which for these is a five Allen, which is used to tighten up these studs. Real simple. And then a torque wrench to torque them all down. So guys, for this part, it's real simple. You're just gonna take your bolt and you're gonna thread it in there. But beforehand, we're gonna take one of these little bore brushes and we're just gonna run it in here. And we're gonna clean out all these threads just to make sure there's no rust or dirt or anything in there. Just make sure they're perfectly clean. And then uh, we'll go to putting these suckers on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next step, real simple. You're gonna take your stud here. We're gonna put some of this here Loctite on there. Just, just a dab. Dab will do you. Make sure it's on there. Okay, we got our Loctite on there nice and good. Now we just run the stud in by hand. We're just gonna be real careful. Make sure we don't cross thread anything. All right? And we're just gonna do that for all of these and then we'll tighten them down. Boom. Now we just gotta torque all these suckers down to 15 Newton meters or 136 inch pounds. So guys, it's all good to go. We got these things torqued on here good. We got the Loctite on there. We're gonna wait for the Loctite to cure, but before it cures, we're gonna go ahead and slap the wheel on there, torque that thing down, and uh, we should be good with our stud conversion. They're real easy to do. Um, obviously, if you've got a lot of rust, it might be a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but it's really not that hard, and this is gonna make swapping tires way easier. As you can tell, these studs are a little bit long. That's because they're for extended studs in case if we ever wanna run spacers in the rear, which I'm pretty sure we will eventually. So before I put the tire on, I gotta adjust these coils again because I totally forgot that I had lifted this thing like a monster truck. So now I'm gonna go and slam it back down, put a tire on here, and we should be good to go. And then I just gotta do it for the other three tires. So I'm gonna get started. the best part about this entire wheel stud conversion. Changing tires is gonna always be a hundred times easier than what it ever used to be. Watch this. Look at that. Couldn't do that before. I can't wait to put these things to use because when we're at the track, we gotta change tires. It is a pain in the butt using bolts. These things are going to make our lives a hundred percent better. Now I just need to go put those beautiful lug nuts on here. Take our beautiful little lug nuts. And pop them on here. Interesting tidbit, Mishimoto sends you some that don't have the little M on them, and it's because they've got a weird design to where it's not a six point. They give you this nifty little socket that only fits over these lug nuts. It's basically like a thing to keep you from getting stolen. So it's kind of interesting, but if you didn't know, now you know. So we're just gonna put that little sucker on there. You can always tell which one it is because it's the only one that doesn't have an M. And just FYI, these new lug nuts, they're 19s instead of 17s. All right guys, so that's it, it's on there. Uh, I think they look pretty good. They're not too bad. And uh, now all I gotta do is do the same exact thing on the rest of the wheels. We'll be ready to rock and roll, so I'm gonna get started. gave us a torque spec for these but we're gonna go off of the old one and we're gonna do 90 foot-pounds and just put them on there so no matter what just make sure they're tight oh good to go all right well guys I'm happy with the way this turned out these wheels look really good um, big thing to think about if you get extended studs is that uh, you can't fit the covers on there I wasn't even thinking putting the center caps on but uh, they're not gonna fit with those extended studs but it's okay they're just drift spares anyway Turns out that these ones, I don't even need wheel spacers for them to fit, unlike the other wheels. So I'm keeping the spacers just in case, but for right now we're going to rock it just like this. So let's go take it for a spin, see how these tires are, 
and get out of here. All right, guys, let's go take this thing for a ride. I'm just listening to see if we hear anything kind of funny. Make sure there's no weird wobbles or anything. See what these tires feel like. Okay, my front end feels a little wonky. The other day, I hit something really, really hard, and the front end has not sounded the same ever since. I hit like a really massive pothole. That's what I get for not seeing on the road. Thank you, glasses. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a, it's like a knocka, 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 knocka. It's really, really weird. There it is. only on the side that got hit. I'm gonna have to tighten one of those bolts down, I think. These coils make so much noise. But at least we're not rubbing anymore. Oh, we got some coming. Alright, I don't hear any rubbing. I have a feeling if we take this thing pretty hard, it will rub. But, uh, so far, so good. It's been the first week back at school, so I'm still kind of adjusting to everything, getting everything figured out. But as you guys can tell, I'm still gonna keep working on the cars. School's making things a little bit challenging, but I'm gonna do my best. My promise to you guys is I'm gonna try to do at least two videos a week. And if I can do that during school, I'm gonna call it a win. And if I don't, call me out on it. Let me know, be like, hey, <laughs> where's the video, you know? If, if you don't see it, you know, I, sometimes I need that little kick in the ass. I'm doing what I can, but, oh man, I'm sweating my ass off. Doing what I can, guys. I really am. But right now, the only time I'm going to have time to work on the car is going to be on the weekends. And that's as long as I don't have any crazy assignments. So, stick with me. promise I'm going to do what I can. And I'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Do it.